shower done, now time to do some skincare. I usually like waking up in the mornings, so I have ample time to do this because I don't like rushing showers in the sense that I don't like spending hours in the shower doing my hair. I like spending time in the mornings pampering myself, but if it means taking hours to do my hair, no, I'm not about that life. Some days I want a quick shower, some days I want to spend time and put unnecessary eye patches on. Eye patches on. I'm hopefully gonna keep these on whilst I blow dry my hair. But first, we do a full body check. Now, I learned this from the person I went to go and see in the Maldives when I was doing my like Ayurvedic thing. And she was like, you need to get to know your body, touch your body, feel your body for any lumps, bumps, anything. And this is something I would always skip. And I also take the opportunity to do this as like a lymphatic drainage. By touching my body, I mean moisturizing. This is my favorite cream. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's fantastic. Honestly, this is not sponsored. I go through these pots like crazy. And this is great for like lifting, firming, allegedly, but whatever. I just love the smell of it and I love the texture. I literally slather my entire body with this and I like get deep into my like lymph nodes. I feel every part of my body because I feel like it's important to check your body for lumps, bumps, and any irregularities. Because how do you know you've got an irregularity if you're not feeling your body every single day? I mean, I do try to feel it every single day, but I, I don't. Yeah, and this is also great because it gives you a chance to actually like do like lymphatic drainage massage techniques to also help drain your lymph nodes. I think that's what it is. I do this in the evenings on like my stomach area and my legs before bed. It also helps me like feel better about my body when I wake up in the morning because I feel like I've just done some drainage and I'm like, whoa, hello abs. I've actually got an exciting meeting tomorrow. I'm meeting a YouTuber, which I've been following for the longest time, like years. Very excited to meet her. I went through a phase again. You know, when one nail chips, I end up peeling it off and then I look at it and then I'm like, this just looks abnormal. I might as well peel all of them off instead of going to the salon for the second time to get it redone. They think I'm taking the piss every time I show up to the salon with like one nail, they're like, we just did that. I'm like, yeah. I'm using the Briogeo, Brio, Briogeo, whatever it is. Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protectant and Heat Spray, and then the Leave-In Moisture and Strength Mask. These products smell awful. I mean, they don't smell like awful, they just don't smell pretty. They do the job. I have a few breakouts and I want my makeup to look flawless tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to do the most. I actually really need to get these eyebrows done, but I shaved them because they were just taking too long to get done. Louis. Obviously, the eye patches fell off. To be honest, I prefer these ones, even though I don't think they actually do anything. They smell like rose water, and I like that. We have eye patches on. I haven't done anything too fancy with my hair. I've just roughly blow dried it. And in my last video, I did say I got a treatment done to ensure that my hair doesn't go like dead flat, like disgustingly like stuck to my head kind of flat, like the keratin treatment makes my hair. And honestly, I'm very happy. Like, as you guys can see, there is a bit of bounce, there's volume. It's not poker straight, which is perfect. But now I'm gonna do some IPL. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of, I have breakouts. This is definitely from wearing makeup and a mask. But fortunately, the mask rule has been lifted. That something I've been waiting like four or five years for, it's finally occurred because I do not like the mask. I don't wanna wear the mask. It's just, it's a hassle for me. As someone who has asthma and vapes, it's a nightmare. So today we're doing some IPL. IPL is amazing treatment to actually remove bacteria from your skin as well as help treat acne, acne scars, wrinkles, fine lines, as well as hair removal. Personally, I like to do this for hair removal around my mouth. I have a little goatee and a small tiny little stash that continuously grows because I have PCOS. It is what it is. I love this Ulite device because it comes in this amazing carry case, which I can take away with me whenever I go away. Everything stays in this beautiful little box. It actually makes a great gift if you wanted to gift it to someone who's hairy or just like needs it. 
It's a great Christmas present. Definitely add this to your list for Christmas ideas. This is the device. I actually briefly spoke about it in another video, but we're gonna do a quick talk through today. A lot of you guys are asking me like, do you really believe in this product? Do you trust this product? Is this something you actually use? Honestly, it is something I really do use. This is one device which I found has been consistent and shown me the best results so far. And I love the fact that this particular device has a cooling applicator. So this applicator basically is cool when it's not on and it's cool when it is on and it just it helps reduce any kind of pain although saying that this is very much pain free i do it on the highest intensity there are five different intensity levels i love the highest one because i feel like it's the most effective but if it's your first time doing ipl then definitely start low and then gradually build it up i did actually shave yesterday they do give you a little tiny razor if you don't feel comfortable like getting into a butterfly position and spreading your cheeks let me tell you, it is the most awkward position to be in in the whole world in front of a complete stranger. I just cannot do it. I, f I find it very uncomfortable. So I'd rather like bend over in front of a mirror and do it myself, you know? It's like having an ice block on my face. I can't feel anything. So not only is the product easy to use and pain-free because of the amazing cooling applicator, the product is FDA approved, which is super important, as well as has an SGS certificate, which means that multiple people did a four week trial to prove that the results were true and effective which is very important. If that's not enough to sell you, they also have a 30 day money back guarantee and a sale on currently so you guys can check them out and get some money off your amazing device. The You Like IPL hair removal device is currently at its lowest price ever in history, celebrating their prime day two day sale from 11th October to 12th October. You can get $70 off with an additional $20 off by using the code in the description box below and on the screen. I personally really love it for acne and inflammation not just hair removal so if you're someone that doesn't really have hair and you want something to treat your acne then definitely invest in one of these IPL devices because it is a treatment I do in the clinic I've spoken about this before it's one of my favorite treatments for active acne as well as acne scarring it's just an amazing device and if you can't afford to get it done in a professional clinic or a salon then definitely invest in one that you can do at home and you can control whenever you want to do it next thing we're going to do because i still have acne obviously it's not going to go away suddenly is i like to do high frequency i love a good high frequency one this also helps with acne scarring and just like active acne i'm going to go in with the little target wand Again, this is also a device we use at the clinic. I really love showing you guys products you can use at home and tools which actually work. I'm not into like silly tools which don't work. I will never promote something which doesn't work. I'll only ever promote tools which do work. And these are products I've been using for a long time and do continuously use in the clinic as well as at home. So we're just going with this and zap it all over my skin. This isn't comfortable. I'll be honest, the IPL is way more painless. This is... This makes me cry. If you guys watch my videos in lockdown, you'll know that I was doing this pretty much almost every night. It's painful, but I love it. I'm not gonna lie. It's like an electrocution to your face. I'm then gonna go in with the bigger, broader head, and I do this on my hairline. This actually stimulates hair growth. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it works. Like, look how much my hair has grown. You guys don't understand. This whole area had no hair. It's been a combination of PRP, rosemary water. I haven't been oiling my hair. I really don't like oiling my hair because it takes too long to wash out. And doing this as well as like microneedling. I'm not gonna lie, it's really helped. I'm shocked. I might have a full hairline soon. Done with that. I'm literally just gonna wipe this down with like an alcohol wipe and we're good to go. Make sure it's dry before you use it. I'm really determined to get rid of this acne by tomorrow. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put on a sulfur mask and then I'm gonna do LED light for a little bit. I'm gonna do that in bed whilst I meditate because I do actually have time to meditate. In fact, I'm not gonna do a meditation. I'm gonna do a hypnotherapy session. I 
live for hypnotherapy. It's helped me in a lot of different aspects of my life, but I'm fortunate that my actually, my hypnotherapist in London actually has this app. So this is the sulfur ointment I put on my skin. I absolutely love it. I sometimes leave it on overnight if I have a pimple. We're doing inner peace and confidence today. If you wear glasses, please remove them and loosen any tight clothing. Find I've already failed. A quiet, comfortable place. Focus on the sound of my voice. Guys, <laughs> in between my little meditation hypnotherapy session, I get a message from my Van Cleef essay. Now he's already messaged me before to let me know that there's gonna be a new holiday pendant. He messaged me like a month ago and I was like, yes, cannot wait, let me know. He just messaged me, he's like, hey, this is what it looks like, all the pictures have already been released online. I was kinda of gonna message him and be like, bro, I've already seen it, but regardless, no. <laughs> I don't care, I will take it. I've sent him my details, I had to just give him my Emirates ID and email address, they're gonna send me a payment link on the 1st of October and then the 2nd of October I can go pick it up from the shop. I'm very excited. It says it's green. It says it's a green stone. Celadon green sev severus porcelain, whatever that is. Um, but it says white gold and it has a diamond in it. However, it looks very much like a Tiffany blue and I'm really into Tiffany blue these days. I mean, I feel like I need to get the Fendi bag to match. Not me making irrational spending decisions. When there is a crisis in the world. <sighs> Anyways, I passed on the last one because I just didn't like the pink. But I think I'm going to start collecting these. I think maybe I should start collecting the holiday pendants. Because particularly with this one, they've said that it's very exclusive, very limited. Only select customers are getting approved to actually be invited to buy it. So thank you so much Van Cleef, I am honored. And thank you to my mother for keeping my profile active. <laughs> my mum has always been a person that just shops and doesn't bother with making accounts or anything, which is how I used to always shop. So when I never like got approached for like limited edition drops and stuff, I was like, why am I not getting invited? Like I buy so much and like my mum buys so much. And then I realized she doesn't bloody make accounts. So it's important to always keep a good account and a relationship with your essay. Very grateful, I feel like my mum deserves this more than I do, so I think I'm gonna buy it for her. Okay, so I just washed my face. I also did my prayer wash. And now I'm just moisturizing because obviously sulfur dries your skin out quite a lot. First I used my, is this Cetaphil? Cetaphil. This is really gentle on sensitive skin. And then I went in with the Augustinus Beta Bada rich cream. I don't love the rich cream for daily use in Dubai because it's very humid and I feel like this just kind of congests my pores. So I like to use it in the evenings, bedtime. I think it's great as like a bedtime moisture mask situation. So during the day I like to use the regular cream. They have a light cream which I want to try but they've just got like the cream and then they've got the rich cream and then now they've got the light cream. Definitely want to try the light cream. But now I'm gonna quickly go pray. Since I'm not wearing makeup and I'm at home, why not get some prayers in? And then we're gonna go make some food. I do also eventually want to actually get around to shooting some content for my Depop because I have, yesterday I decided I wanted to do a clear out. I've got so many things and I just wanna get rid of them. I'm even giving you guys my one of one Gucci pants. These are one of one because they were specifically made for the Gucci store in Florence, the Gucci Garden, I think that's what it's called. It's a store which only has one of one Gucci pieces. You will never find these anywhere else in the world. They're just custom made one piece for the store. Unfortunately, I bought these, I love them. I never actually got around to getting them altered. Don't know why. I wish I did, but I just don't wear them. And I just felt, you know, if, I'm not, if I've not altered them now, it's been two years, maybe I should just get rid of them because I'm never gonna wear them. There's a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. I think I'm gonna donate the proceeds to a charity because, you know, I like helping. But don't DM me asking me for a free Chanel bag because I don't like helping that much. Okay, so a lot of you guys asked me, oh my God, I just finished praying. <laughs> um, I prayed a little too hard. 
some of you won't get it. Yeah, a lot of you asked me where my little prayer set was from and it was from a brand which actually produces their items. They make like modest fashion clothing in our atelier. And I was like, wow, I really love those. It would be so practical. <laughs> Could I please have one? The designer was like, oh, we can do it in any color you want. My mom loves green, so she got hers in green. I just kind of steal hers. It's like one size fits all, honestly. But when it comes to praying, you just want to be wearing something massive and baggy as long as your head is covered, your body is covered, everything is covered and yeah. I'm hungry now. Let's go make some food. Okay, so today we're gonna make fish in a paper bag. Um, so I'm gonna be using sea bream today with some butter, clove of garlic, which I'm going to mince, shred, great, and some dill and then a lemon and of course some salt and you need some parchment or baking paper to begin with but let me go put some quinoa on the boil okay minced garlic in now i need some of the lemon rind so that's our garlicky lemon butter but now we need to add in the butter and a few of these little dill leaves. Okay, I didn't add too many dill leaves. I'm gonna kind of keep it at that for now until the butter is completely melted. No one asked me for measurements because I have no idea. I just wing everything. And don't forget about this lemon. We're still gonna use her. So first, let's melt this. I'm gonna put this in the microwave, let it melt, and then we're going to start prepping our fish. Oh no. Just finished my first meal of the day. It kind of got delayed because it's currently like 5.30 and I was supposed to eat at around four, but there was an emergency with one of my dogs. So I had to rush to the vets. I went to the vets and I was there for a while and then I decided to be on the safe side. I was just gonna keep her there on fluids. Um, my poodle somehow managed to get her face into one of the dustbins which had some chocolate cake in it and we caught her just in time. I do know how much was in there so I know how much she's eaten. I know it's not like a toxic amount but at the end of the day chocolate for dogs is highly toxic because they can't digest it. I thought it would be best that she was kept there under their supervision even though I'm at home, I'm staying at home, I could have looked after her. I'm that kind of person that was like I'd rather be safe than sorry. God forbid anything were to happen. I'd rather her be there. She's getting monitored by the vets and the nurses 24 hours a day. Even though she's not gonna be there for 24 hours, she's only gonna be there for another five, six hours. And like, whilst I was at the vets, this man walks in with like the most adorable little poodle. I was sitting there like so sad. And then this man walks in with a poodle. I'm not joking, it was like this big. That's genuinely how small I thought my new dog was going to remain. She grew, in fact, she grew bigger than all of my dogs. I have this thing where I just get scammed by pet dealers. Like, I just get scammed. With my first dog, Louis, I expect him to be a mini Maltese. He was about this big when we got him. He's pretty big. At the end of the day, he does have like very short, stumpy little legs, which are so cute to watch when he's just running around. I love those little stumpy legs. And then Chai, I was told that she was gonna be, I think like a toy, one slightly bigger than a teacup. And I was like, okay, cool. She is a little bit taller than Louie because poodles tend to have longer legs than like Maltesers, but she's still small. Dog I saw was an actual teacup. Is it bad if I insert a picture? I mean, I did ask if I could take a picture of the dog and he was like, yeah, fine. So this is what the... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really cute. It's so cute. I sent it to my mom and my friends and they were like, what the hell is wrong with that dog? Why does it look like that? In all honesty, it looks like a miniature version of my other dog. I mean, I feel like a dog that small is impractical anyways because they require like 24 seven care. They can't jump on and off surfaces. It's a bit of a nightmare. I wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I'm giving away. I was umming and ahhing about this. I didn't know if I wanted to actually get rid of it because it is such a lovely bag. This is like such a great bag for work as well as school. If you live in Dubai like me, then you know what I'm talking about. School bags are not Jansport. They're Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Goyard. It'd be like that here. The next is actually a recent purchase. And I say recent, it's been about a year and I have not touched this item. I got this in Sweden and I realized once I got home that it wasn't actually the item I wanted it to be. I thought this was the thigh bag, but it is in fact a waist bag. It's like a belt bag. And I thought it was like the thigh bag, but the thigh bag actually has like an elasticated thing on it. It's not something I see myself wearing or utilizing, to be honest. This is a pair of shoes, which I feel like a lot of you saw coming. The Amina Muadi Yigit, 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 what, whatever they are. I really wish I didn't buy these. I haven't worn them. Brand new, haven't been worn, haven't even touched them. Brand new, haven't touched them, haven't worn them. They just, they've just been sitting in their boxes. It's my Prada boots, which have actually been collecting dust. I've worn these once but the soles are pretty much clean. And I say once, I just put them on to sit in my car to see if I could drive in these and I couldn't. I didn't like how they looked on me. I felt like they were just too short. Ooh, okay, then we have these brand new, if not once worn, but like barely worn, St. Laurent boots. Brand new condition. They've not even been worn once. Although I have tried to squeeze my foot into them, which is why they look kind of stretched. I mean, they're brand new. I haven't actually worn these out. Manolo Blahnik flats. I thought I could pull these off. I cannot. This is a pair of shoes I've had for like forever and not once have I reached out for them. Valentino's, the one that a lot of you have been waiting for. And unfortunately I'm not selling them for 12 pounds. They actually have to go for a decent price because these are an iconic pair in literally brand new condition. It's the hot chicks. I'm biting the bullet. They have to go. They make great bookends, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I should do that. No, 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 they have to go. And I even throw in free Polaroid that I took of them. I think it was my 20th birthday haul that I got these. That's like almost seven years ago and I've worn them, I've worn them in the house. I've not once worn these out. I think it's normal to change, evolve, grow. Um, and there's gonna be some more stuff if I can pull together some more stuff, but that's about it for now. It's quite a lot of things. Now I have to take pictures of everything, which is gonna be a bit of a, Mission, a long 